Hello and welcome to another update video about Polygon Matic. So highly interesting what is currently going on with Matic. Um, it did pump quite a bit and maybe it is preempting already what is going to happen with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So to put it into context, let me show you first what I said two days ago about Matic before the pump and then we can take a look at the latest TA. This would mean this year what is coming up here is wave three, but if this is a wave three, which is currently coming up here after the wave two, it really needs to pump. It needs to get to the 62 cent level yeah, from how it is looking now. So from that point of view, you know, a possible trade setup here is to trade the breakout above that level. Yeah, um, and that would be, in my opinion, only after a successful retest and then go up. Yeah, I wouldn't touch this before. So I want to have a retest. I want to have this confirmed. Um, we see volume, which is healthy. Okay, so I also posted this on the day when we just had this little breakout in the uh, Telegram group for channel members, where I posted Matic broke out above resistance of 46 cents. If price can hold above this level, next price target is 54 cents and then 56 cents. This can be traded long with a stop loss close below 46 cents. The 46 cent level needs to be retested on a lower time frame to increase the chances of a winning trade. So in that in that signal, I didn't even talk about 63 or 62 cents, but this was the higher level target. And let's take a look at if we actually reached this. So yeah, this is the updated um, view now. So in the last video, I obviously told you that similar to what we can see currently on the Bitcoin Ethereum charts and for various altcoins, that we have a potential first breakout to the upside in a wave one. This here was then already the wave two, bit skeptical still about it because <laughs> this wave two was, well, I mean, it reached the target area, yeah? And let's show, let, let's take a look at what that retracement actually was. So let's take a look here. Target area here between the 38.2% FIP level and the 618 Normally a wave two would go, you would expect at least a 50% retracement normally, yeah? That it only saw the 38.2% FIP retracement is in this bullish scenario, if this really is um, this bullish breakout potential scenario here, then this was super bullish because, you know, a wave two that only gets to the 38.2 is bullish, okay? Um, then we obviously moved up here, broke out this when I made the video, I told you I wanna see a retest, which happened, yeah? And I wouldn't touch it before because until then, it could have still been just something like, and let me just show you that, um, just an A, B, C, but a significant breakout or breakout above that previous wave one indicated that the wave B was already finished. Yeah, because you know if you go as high as this, even a little bit higher maybe, potentially it still was a wave B, but a successful retest indicated, yeah, you know, that was probably finished the wave two, that is what I mentioned in the previous video, and then we moved up in the wave three. And did we actually reach that 62 cent target? Yes, and this is in very, very interesting. So why was this level so interesting? Why could I give you exactly this price target? Well, because of the Elliott wave count. Yeah, we wanna see evidence in the Elliott wave patterns. And here we can currently see this evidence emerging. So the target for a third wave, for a wave three, is normally the 1.618 or at least the 1.618 Fibonacci. I just wanted to, one sec, uh, Fibonacci extension level, yeah? So if we go from the beginning of the wave one to the high of the wave one to the low of the wave two, yeah, the 1.618 extension here was 62 cents, perfectly reached it, perfectly reached it. So it could very well be that this wave three is now finished. What I have to tell you, oftentimes altcoins exceed the 1.618 FIP extension. So it could very well be, if you see the breakout now above the 62.6 cent level, um, and this is by the way, important resistance. Yeah, If we go above this level now that we might actually reach the 2.618, the 75 cent level. <clears throat> and this would be, <clears throat> this would be very, very important. Uh, an important indicator that actually, here yeah, um, the breakout is fully underway. Yeah? However, because we have already seen a reaction to the 1.618, I would actually primarily now expect a retracement in a wave four. So let's take a look at how far that retracement would need to go. So to calculate the retracement, we would take the length of the wave three, looking at the Fibonacci retracement level. So what you would normally want in a wave four 
is to reach at least, because that would be the next wave, a retracement down now. You would want to see at least a 23.6% retracement level. That's the minimum, 57.2 cents. Normally, you would expect at least a 38.2. But this is the ideal retracement level for a wave for the 53.7 cent level. Um, could even go to the 50% at 51 cents. But if this really is so bullish as it is, presenting itself now with a very short wave two, could very well be we only see the 57.2 cent level and go up from there. So be aware when you when we reach one of these FIP levels and we see a strong bullish reaction, could be that we are already going up. If it doesn't even reach the 57.2 cent level and goes up from here, that would indicate we are in an extended wave three that might actually go higher before we see the wave four. Hope that makes sense. As I just said, um, altcoins oftentimes go above that 1.618 Fibonacci extension target in a wave three. So it could very well be that it goes higher before we actually see that wave four. Now, when we then finish that wave four, after that we would still expect the wave five. So what I need to tell everybody now who's already seeing FOMO, calm down, okay? Because if this is indeed a breakout, one, two, three, four, five, then all of this will be corrected yeah all of this will also be corrected because this is a larger wave one so in this wave one you would expect a wave two to correct this down again so this will happen after the wave four is has peaked that means we are going to see something like an a b c and how far could that go down let's just say i mean difficult to say now but let, let me give you a target for for that potentially um, and again it is it is just a, a simple projection now because I don't know how how low the wave 4 will go and so on but let's just say here we are going to reach in the wave 5 the 2.618 FIP extension so 76 cents yeah then from that we would have to calculate the retracement levels 76 cents and then in a wave 2 if this and all of this this 5 wave move up is a wave 1 then we would in a wave two expect prices of, again, the 50% FIP retracement at 54 cents all the way down to potentially 36 cents again. So again, this is something that will happen, a retracement, how far the retracement will be, I don't know, but it would normally be in the region between the 50% and the 88.7% uh, FIP level. So between 54 cents and 36 cents. If it only reaches the 59 cent level, the 38.2, then again, it would be super, super bullish. Yeah. So at the moment, this is highly interesting. Um, we have now also reached important resistance and the very important breakout level, just not necessarily looking at this smaller Elliott wave count now, but a very important resistance level that we will need to overcome is the 66.2 cent level that is here from this wave four, the higher level wave four, the resist uh, the, the the peak yeah we had a triangle back here in may and early june and the wave four peaked here with this wave e and that is a very important resistance 66.2 cents so be aware when we reach that level we are most likely going to see a reaction um but above that then yeah certainly you know um we could even then quite quickly as you see there's a lack of resistance we could very simply then move to a dollar and this yellow area that you can see here is the very important level anyway for Matic, where I did expect already back in January that we're going to go into this area and then reverse. Yeah, because this is the area between the 78.6% FIP level here, 63 cents, and the 88.7% FIP level of 31 cents. And Matic has shown down here a very, very nice reaction, obviously, to the 88.7% FIP level. And it is starting to look promising. It's still a bit too early to confirm, you know, the low was in, but it's certainly a very, very interesting reaction. And uh, we've come down all the way from up there and reached basically this target area. And we're now possibly turning around. This is really, really getting interesting. And what also is very interesting that we now start to see here on the four day chart, possibly a bullish crossover on the um, on the MACD. Yeah, this is if this is happening, this could really lead to rising prices. So whenever we saw that in the past, bullish crossover on the MACD on the four day chart, this led to significant price increases, not necessarily to new all time highs, but to um, certainly much higher prices. So be aware of that. Okay, and uh, this is currently my view about Polygonmatic. 
Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.